Our IEEE Embedded Linux classes provide the student with the experience necessary for developing not only embedded Linux applications, but also in the development of board support packages, BSPs, or device drivers. These three areas are the main areas of development when you're creating development systems or embedded target systems based on embedded Linux. The Introduction to Embedded Linux course describes the basic overview of the operating system from the desktop uh, level of knowledge through to the concepts of embedded Linux usage. We cover the main primitives of the POSIX models such as POSIX threads, message queuing, signals, timers, and error handling in an embedded Linux context. Uh, key takeaways for this class is the development of POSIX threads and the interprocess communications between them. Not only do we cover the threading model, but we also cover basic concepts of memory and I.O. and timing in an embedded Linux con context, such that the developer understands what are the differences between an embedded Linux development system and a desktop Linux system. Covering virtual memory is a key factor in understanding the use of Linux in general and also in embedded systems. The virtual memory context, which allows for the protection of one application running in one process from another application running in another process, is a key aspect in the use of embedded Linux for embedded systems development. Another key factor in embedded Linux development is the concept of a root file system. The root file system is absolutely required when booting an embedded Linux target system. For embedded systems, this root file system typically does not reside on a hard disk as it would in a desktop environment. It resides typically in a flash or a compact flash type of environment or possibly even in a RAM uh, flash file system, RAM file system the virtual file system of Linux can really come into play such that our applications do not necessarily care whether the development is executing in a hard disk environment or in a compact flash or a flash uh, environment. Uh, the key takeaway from the, our intro class also is the introduction of the Eclipse development framework for doing Linux software development. The Eclipse framework has become the basis for a lot of vendor products out there from our uh, embedded operating systems vendors. The key aspect of this involved with embedded Linux development is the concept of remote debug. When we do remote debug, we're actually using Eclipse on a development host, typically a Linux desktop uh, operating system running on a typical PC, connecting to our target platform or our hardware platform over a network interface. Eclipse allows us to run an application on our embedded target and at the same time debug it from the host. This allows the best of both worlds type of capability such that we can develop our software on the fastest machine possible and then execute it on the target that we intend to deploy. The IEEE Embedded Linux course series provides the student with the necessary skills for developing new and exciting embedded Linux applications, for developing and building new embedded Linux hardware platforms, and also for developing new and exciting device drivers in an embedded Linux context.